Hello and welcome to Writing for Public Relations. I'm your instructor, Professor Ottolenghi. I've been here at the School of Communication and Journalism for about 12 years and have taught this course per, for the past five or six years. I look forward to a very productive semester with you. We are about writing for traditional media and news media. As you can see on the screen, these are many of the assignments we're going to be doing this semester. And they include things like SEO campaigns, content marketing, and Wikipedia page editing. So what will we be doing this semester? First, we're going to have 14 writing assignments, including the capstone, which actually has five elements. Second, we're going to have seven quizzes based on the readings. Next, we're going to have six AP style tests. Both the readings quizzes and the AP style test will be online. Show you details on that in a moment. We'll be taking a Cision training program. It's free and online, and it's self-directed. And last, you're required to have an editing session before spring break. The weekly readings. You should complete them before each week begins. You need to know the material before you watch the assignment video. You also need to read them before you take the rat on that assignment. AP style. It's required for everything you do in this course. You need to become proficient in using the style book. When you take the AP style quizzes, they will be online, open book, and untimed. You'll also have a list of entries to work from. So there's every reason for you to get a perfect score on every quiz. You'll also need to be current on what's going on in the news. Why? Because you need to look smart in your job. You need to know what's happening in Miami and across the nation. As you know, the world has become a very hectic place. And if you don't keep up, you're going to find you and your client behind. You also need to find PR opportunities for your clients. And you will be having clients this semester. And real world ones at that. And you'll need to be keeping up with what's going on so that you can select excellent topics for your writing assignments. The good news is that you can read the New York Times for free because through F by U, we have an academic pass program. So what will we be doing every week? First of all, you can expect a writing assignment every week. You will probably have a RAT or an AP quiz or both every week, except for that last month. You are responsible for keeping track of everything. As part of the online course, you need to make sure that you stay current with all the work that you need to be doing. We don't have a classroom setting in which you can ask questions or I can give, hand out reminders to everyone to make sure they turn in their work by this day or that day. Independent online work puts most of the responsibility on you. You will have the information in the syllabus. And you'll also find examples on Blackboard, and I'll be giving you videos like this one of instructions on the assignments and giving you the links to go watch those videos. Let's look at the grades. As you can see, 70% of your grade is going to be your writing assignments. Of that, 30% will be the capstone. You have another 10% for the quizzes on readings, another 10% for the AP style book, 5% for scission, and 5% for the editing session. If you decide not to do the editing or to do the session, you can pretty much expect not to get an A in the course. There is no way you're going to be completely perfect and score 100% on everything afterwards to get that A for the semester that you're looking for. So you need to complete every single element you see here on the screen. Let's look at those in detail. For your writing assignments, you'll find the instructions posted on Blackboard. Uh, you'll be able to watch this video, and the PowerPoint that's used in the video will also be on Blackboard. The first draft of the assignment is usually due a week after being given, so you should see the syllabus for the exact days and times. You'll email that assignment to me at my Gmail address with a topic in the subject line. So, for example, your first assignment is going to be writing a cover letter, and there's a separate video on that. You will put in that subject line, your name, and the words cover letter. Your assignment will be edited within one week of being turned in, and the revisions to that are due the same week. In that edited version, you're going to see summary comments at the top and specific comments in brackets, and they will be highlighted, just like you see in the example below. 
you should view the PowerPoint and watch this video uh, beforehand. And by this video, I mean whatever video that goes with the assignment. You can also look at the examples. Each writing assignment grade will be on an A to F scale with plus and minus increments, except for D and F. You'll be graded based on content, format, grammar, spelling, punctuation, AP style, and other writing requirements. These are the same kinds of things that would be expected of you as a PR professional. If you write a very good press release and you're going to get an A, but you make one mistake, you'll get an A minus. Two spelling errors, B plus. Three spelling errors, a B. So you want to make sure that your assignment is perfectly spelled before you turn it in. As mentioned before, the section on uh, reading tests and on AP quizzes is worth 10% each. You will take them on Socrative.com in these two rooms. There's a separate PowerPoint that shows you in just a few simple steps how to access Socrative. You will take the RATS in PUR 4100 and the AP quizzes in PRFIU. Notice that both of those are one word. You should see the syllabus for what the test is about, when the test opens, and when it closes. And as noted before, there's a PowerPoint on Blackboard which provides the instructions on logging in and taking the test. Actually, it's very easy to do. You can take the test on a computer, on an iPad or other tablet, or even on your phone. And if you have a technical problem during the test, just exit it and start a new quiz. I'll know by the name that you put in when you start the test that you're taking it again, and I'll only grade the completed test. When you've finished with the test and we've gotten all the results in, I'll mail you a PDF which will have all the questions and the answers showing which ones you got right and which ones got wrong. you got wrong. The editing session. You'll need to have one of those before spring break and it must be at least 30 minutes. You can ask for additional sessions either before or after spring break, but you must have one in order to receive credit for the semester. We'll work with your schedule to, so that we can do this at a time that's good for you. For example, we could meet on Thursdays after my morning classes. Otherwise, what we can do is we can meet on Google Hangouts at a day and time that fits your schedule. My only in-person classes are on Thursday mornings, so I can meet with you online that afternoon, other days in the morning or the afternoon, evenings if that's necessary, and sometimes even weekends if that's the only thing we can do. One more thing you should know. We will be editing the assignment that you're working on then. We'll have an opportunity to go through it and look at it line by line and for me to give you feedback and to make changes right there. The good news is in all of that is that we'll be doing this before it's graded. Almost all students who have an editing session get an A on that assignment. Cision Training. You may already know what Cision is. It's an online company that puts together media lists of traditional media such as TV and newspapers and radio, but it also has online influencers, bloggers, and websites. So it's a great resource for anybody who's in PR and knowing how to use it is going to give you a leg up in your career and also even in a chance of getting a job. In that course that you're going to be taking, you'll learn how to build and use media lists for story pitches, press releases, media alerts. By the way, those are all three assignments in which you're going to have to put together media lists. So the, learning this is going to be extremely beneficial, not only in this course, but in your work as well. In order to get credit for decision training, you'll need to complete the course, pass the final exam, get a copy of certificate and email it to me by April 23rd. There is a separate presentation on how to do Cision. You should look at the syllabus, which is up on Blackboard. You should probably download the PDF that's up there. You need the AP style book. You can buy a print copy either at the university bookstore um, on, on the main campus, probably is where it is now. Uh, you can order it online. And you can also get an online subscription. I recommend that last choice because that way it's always with you and you can look things up right there from your computer. You should keep all of your work on a flash drive and have it in the style book when you're writing. 
Why? Because you want to have your work with you. I've had instances where students said, oh, you know, I emailed the assignment on time and I would say, no, I haven't received it. And it turned out you sent it from your office on a Friday afternoon. And since you're not going back there till Wednesday and haven't sent it, it's technically late. Again, the responsibility is yours to make sure that you meet deadlines. You'll want to read the New York Times because we probably will have some news quizzes. If you have any questions, any worries, let's chat, let's email each other, and of course, let's schedule an editing session. In all of this, you're probably saying to yourself, okay, after I complete all this work, how are things going to go? What is going to be the benefit to me once I leave FIU or when I go to look for an internship? Well, let's look at some of the students who have actually gone through this. Here's Vanessa. She's an account executive at S2H Communication. Here's Valerie. She works for NBCU Universal. Here's Joelle, who works for one of the largest foundations in the country. And Marisol, who works for an international company, Randstad. There's Maria and Adelis. They are probably in public relations and social media for local groups. Ladinella and Nicole both work over at the Font and Blue, and maybe you do want to work there too. So doing the kind of work that they did that got them to their jobs and knowing them is going to help you. Sophia works out in Los Angeles for an international agency, and Gabriella works for Swatch, another international company. Arali and, and Betsy, you can see that they work for national companies. Haytham and George both have their own agencies here in Miami. And because they've completed the graduate program as well at FIU, they both were writing coaches this past semester, and I'm hoping soon that they'll be instructors. Here are two of the Ashleys who have taken class with me. You can see that they work with interesting companies. There's Yesenia who works with a foundation. So if you're interested in nonprofits, you can see this prepares it for you. And Jessica works over at Seminole Hard Rock. I'm sure you've seen that from the Turnpike many times. Heidi has one of the best jobs in Miami. She's the public relations manager for the Four Seasons Hotel. And Laura works for McDonald's. Joanna works for HBO Latin America and Silvana for the Wantman Group. And now the last person I want to show to you is Monica Bennett. In fact, she created one of the assignments that you're going to have this semester. Three months after graduating, I believe it was in 2012, she started her own PR firm, which is going today. She took the road that not only was she going to be a PR professional, she was going to own her own agency. You can do that too.